Hi, it's uh, Michael Moore here to see uh, Charles Heston. for agreeing to see me. He took me out to his pool and tennis house so we could have a chat. I told him that I was a lifetime member of the NRA and showed him my membership card. Good for you. Well done. I assume you have guns in the house here? Indeed I do. Uh-huh. And Bad guys take notice. <laughs> <laughs> so you have them for protection? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been a victim of crime? No, no. Never, never, yeah, <laughs> never been assaulted or? Uh, no. No violence uh, toward you, or, but you have guns in the house. Uh, loaded. Yeah, loaded, they're loaded. Yeah. Well, but, let me ask you, you this. really need a weapon for, for self-defense, you need it loaded. <laughs> okay, but wh why, why do you need it for self-defense? I don't. Yeah, you've never been a victim of crime, you haven't been assaulted no, here, you haven't been... that's true. You know, well, why would you... So, so why not, why, why don't you unload the gun? Because uh, um, the Second Amendment gives me the right to have it loaded. Well, I agree. I yeah. totally agree with that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, you know, I mean, the Second Amendment gives me... Well, let's say it's a comfort it's, factor. You know, it gives you comfort to know that there's a loaded gun. Yeah. But comfort meaning that it, it allows you to relax and feel safe. Not worry about it. Not worry, not be afraid. And I'm not really, but uh, I'm exercising one of the rights uh, passed on down to me from those wise old dead white guys that invented this country. If it was good enough for them, it's good enough for me. But you could still exercise the right just by having I the know, gun I'm unloaded sure. and locked away somewhere. I choose to have it. What sort of strikes me as interesting is that in other countries where they don't have the murder rate, the gun murder rate that we have, that, uh, you know, many people say, well, that's because they don't have guns around. You can't, it's hard to get a gun in Britain or Germany or whatever. But we went to Canada and there's 7 million guns in 10 million homes. There won't be very long. But, you know, but hear me out though. Look, Canada is a nation of hunters, millions of guns, and yet, they had just a few murders last year. That's it, of a country of 30 million yeah. people. Now, why? here's my question. Why is it that, that they've got all these guns laying around, yet they don't kill each other at the level that we kill each other? I think American history is, uh, has uh, a lot of blood on its hands. Oh, and German history doesn't? No. Uh, in British history? I don't think it's, I don't think as much. Oh, are you, do well, Germans don't have as much uh, blood on their hands? Ah, uh, they do, yes. The Brits, they ruled the, the world for 300 years at the barrel of a gun. They, they're all violent people. They have, they have bad guys, they have crime, they have, they have lots of guns uh, in the well, past. Well, it's an they interesting point blood. which can be redu explored and you're good to explore it uh, at great lengths, but I think uh, that's about all I have to say on it. You don't have any opinion though as to why that is that we are the unique country, the only country that does this, that kills each other on this level with guns? Well, we have probably a more mixed ethnicity than other countries, some other countries. You think um, it's an ethnic thing? No, I don't. It's, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. We have enough problem. Uh, we had enough problems with civil rights in the beginning. I, it's, uh, but uh, I, I have no, no answer. But what do you mean you think it's a mix, uh, mixed ethnicity? I don't understand. You said, how is it that so, that we're so many Americans yeah. uh, kill each other? I don't know that that's true, but uh, even... Well, no, you know that. We know we have the highest murder rate with mm -hmm. guns. And it's way higher than any other country. The only world. answer I can give you is the one I already gave you. Which is? Which is that we have uh, Historically? a history of violence, perhaps more than most countries, not more than Russia, not more than Japan or China. Not more than Germany. Not more than Germany, uh -huh. but more than, certainly more than Canada. I come from Flint, Michigan, and last year, a little six-year-old boy took a gun into a classroom and shot and killed a six-year-old girl. And uh, it was a really a, a tragic thing. And this was kids, though. Kids. This was six-year-old, yeah, did you hear about this? Yeah. Six-year-old shooting a six-year-old? Yeah. Well, my, here's my question, though, is that, after that happened, you came to Flint and held a big 
rally. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just... You served as the vice president. <laughs> Yeah, but did you feel did you feel it was being at all insensitive to the fact that this community had just gone through the Actually, shooting? I wasn't aware of that at the time we came. We came and did a early morning uh, uh, rally and went on to wherever we were going. You didn't know at the time when you were there that this no. this killing had happened. Had you known, would you have not? Would come? I have canceled the? Uh, yeah. I don't. It's not can it, no, it wasn't that you. It wasn't like it was already planned. I mean, the choice mm -hmm. to come there was made. Yeah. after this horrible killing took yeah. place. Mm -hmm. what, you know, had you known that, would you have come? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. Do you Thank think you. you'd like to just maybe apologize to the people in Flint for coming and doing that at that time, or? Do you want me to apologize, me to apologize yeah. to the people in Flint? Yeah. Or the people in Columbine for coming after their horrible tragedy? I mean, why do you go to the places after they have these horrible tragedies? And I, I, you know, I'm a member of your group here. Yeah. I'm, well, you know, I'm afraid we don't agree on uh, on that. You think it's OK 